Hi, friends. Thank you for joining me for our weekly pastor's update. Father Jim wrote the bulletin this week, and it reads, Now that we are nearing the end of the year, it might be helpful to review some of the events uh, at Spiritus for 2022. Grace of God Recovery House added fourth and fifth permanent beds to house the men uh, who are in our program. The church purchased a 15-seat van to drive people to parish events and bring them to church. Ruth Cowing became director of communications. Emily Forbes became our new administrative assistant. Eileen Hurley became the Mental Health Center's community health outreach worker. Thursday night mass was held at New Nielsen House to give a house blessing. Prison Outreach opened supportive housing at Flower City Housing on Culver Road. The ecumenical mass at Emmanuel Baptist Church restarted after a COVID hiatus. The Rochester Jazz Fest sponsored Sparks Juneteenth 5K walk and race. Chiapas Mexico Ministry held its first coffee house fundraiser and its first pilgrimage since the pandemic. Sunday Mass relocated to the Temple Building for three months during the summer. Vacation Bible School benefited 32 children. Eight parishioners made week-long pil pilgrimage to Chiapas, Mexico. Our monthly new parishioner meeting was moved to Thursday at 5.30 and was both virtual and in person. Our parish picnic got reinstated at Camp Eastman after a COVID hiatus. We had our first blessing of animals held at, on St. Francis Day in Ellison Park. The Young Adult Ministry sponsored a summer retreat for 20 and 30 year olds. Speaking from the Heart held a picnic at Seneca Park for immigrants. Our senior high youth preached at our summer mass in the park. Parishioners supported farm workers by walking in the Labor Day Parade. Lauren Arzetta Fry replaced Davis Craig as hospitality minister. We had our first poetry night celebrating poets and other artists in the parish. Lisa Kogel became our religious education Sunday school assistant. Reverend Celia Katovich moved from part-time to full-time associate pastor. We were selected nationally to be part of the Children's Defense Fund initiative. We marched in the Pride Parade and held special LBGTQ plus weekend. Dr. Tony Voltaire preached on Hope Haiti weekend liturgies that were fantastic. Hope Haiti held a benefit concert performed by parish musicians. Over 200 families received Thanksgiving and Christmas food baskets. I held a press conference that supported five black majority voting districts. Our choral director, Daniel Brotman, made a three-month silent Buddhist retreat. Grace of God held its bowling fundraiser at Radio Social. The junior and senior high youth group made a weekend retreat at Silver Lake. Our mental health center held its annual Riverwalk fundraiser. 90 people attended our visioning day to determine the future of Spiritus. Kathy Welch organized Advent, an Advent concert performed by parish musicians. Mike Boucher led our annual Advent Bible study. Jack Timmons, uh, turned 99. He may be the oldest parishioner we have. It's fantastic. We had a mass in the park where we collected Christmas gifts for our prison outreach residents. And our bereavement mass brought together those who, loved, who lost loved ones in 2022. So that's a lot that we've done this year, a lot to reflect on, a lot to be grateful for. And so we also send our condolences to Christine and Jeff Staley on the death of Christine's father, Jerry Chasco, and to Joe Gersich on the death of his sister, Mary.
Please check our bulletin this week for our Christmas schedule. We are so looking forward to seeing so many of you join us both in person and via live stream. It's been wonderful to have so many people come back. And Christmas is a great time to decide to come back in person. We miss you. We love you. And we're thinking of you constantly. And we love seeing all of you, our global community, and all of you who are joining us virtually as well. So friends, this comes with love, and I look forward to seeing you next week for our weekly pastor's update. Take care.